Hey guys, this is Jackie from Jackie Floss Down a Book Hole, and I thought I would talk about my next favorite show. Like I said, I am doing up until Valentine's Day, um, possibly past Valentine's Day, I'm going to be talking about my favorite romantic couples in books, TV, and movies. So, so this the couple I'm going to talk about today is the couple from a couple, my favorite couple from the Lunar Chronicles, and that is. Cress and Carswell Thorn, or Captain Thorn, as he sees himself. First of all, this is a retelling of Rapunzel. Um, and the difference is a sci-fi retelling where Rapunzel, instead of in a, in a tower, she is locked in a satellite dish, and um, she is a super computer genius. There is... Um, in this world, there is a war going on between the, um, Queen Levana and the people of Earth. Queen Levana being the ruler of the colony that lives on the moon. And, um, they are trying to, the people of Earth, particularly, um, are trying to, you know, the, um, are trying to, um, stop her from ruling Earth because, you know, she'll be a tyrant, she'll control everybody on Earth if she takes power, and the Emperor of New Beng Beijing, um, Kai has been searching for the lunar, prin the lost lunar princess, her stepdaughter, Celine, Princess Celine, and it turns out that Princess Celine has been in New Beijing this whole time, but under a different identity, and she doesn't realize she's the princess. Um, and this one is about one of the, um, a girl that on Lunar who happens to be a shell, which means she can't be affected by the Lunar ability to manipulate bio electricity, has the information on the lost princess. So the those who are trying to stop Levana, like Cinder, um, Scarlet, Wolf, um, and Thorn, decide to go save her, save this girl from from a satellite from the satellite she's trapped on because she's also being used to spy on Earth, and she wants, but she doesn't want to do that anymore and wants to help find the Princess Celine. So Thorn, so they decide to go on a rescue mission to save her. Unfortunately, that rescue mission kind of fails, and um, Thorn and Cress, her, they crash land in the African desert. And the, and of course, that's the traditional elements of the original fairy tale, which is like Thorn goes blind. Um, um, Rapunzel, the Rapunzel character has to cut her hair, gets her hair cut off. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, I, these two are adorable, Cress and Thorn. I mean, first of all, like, Cress has this ad adorable, naive crush on the guy. And he is doing that one thing that kind of that drives me crazy, but then you know drives me crazy that, that guys do. But then at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, maybe if then we wouldn't love them if a guy didn't do this for the girl. But um, well, it well I guess it kind of depends, you know, on the guy himself. But like. Chris just sees, thing believes this, has this idea that Thorn is a really good guy because she's seen him do a few good things here and there because she has been doing, she has been told by her mistress to not only spy on Earth but also to spy on um, Cinder and Thorn. So she learns everything she can about them and so she learns all the stuff about Thorn. Thorn, and this is how, and this is how her crush develop, her crush on him develops, because she um, finds out all these things and learns about his past and everything, and sees all these moments, and sees a handful of moments where he's done a lot of good things, but he's constantly telling her, reminding her, you know, that he's not a good guy, that she shouldn't like him.
but she still can't let it go, no pun intended. She can't, like, she tries to tell herself to not like him anymore and that he's right, she shouldn't. Because he does think, you know, he does some selfish things. Like, he flirts with girls in front of her. He, um, not, not actually intending, he doesn't intend to do that. He just kind of leaves her alone in her room and then, you know, goes off and plays poker and, like I said, flirts with girls. And she ends up getting kidnapped. But despite, you know, so he does a lot of bad things to her, you know, a lot of mean things to her. Not, like, really mean, but just, he doesn't, he proves, he tries, he proves to her that he's not the best guy in the world. That he's kind of selfish and inconsiderate. But yet, he ends up out of, you know, because he feels guilty, he goes through all the trouble, puts himself in danger, and rescues her. Cause, and he feels really horrible about it because he knows it's his, he admits, I remember, now it's been a while since I read, I'm going to reread the book soon, hopefully this month. He admits that he was in the wrong, that he shouldn't have, he should have been paying more attention to her and he shouldn't have abandoned her like that. So he feels horrible about it. And of course this, you know, unlike the fairy tales, these stories from the series the romances don't happen instantly. They're not a right away love. So, which I like that. I like how Cress and Thorn grow to love each other, and she ends up loving, having, he ends up giving her reason to love him for real. You know, even though, yeah, he's still a bit of a charmer. He's a ladies' man, and he can be selfish at times. He still show. He still gives her reason to know that he's, he's that she's right. He proves to her that she's right, unconsciously. There is. And I also, you know, I also like that when he goes blind, she goes through the, not only does he constantly, he just, he, you know, protects her, but when he goes blind, she becomes his eye. She guides him. You know, so. And I also love how, like, and there's, it's hard to sum up and pinpoint because it has been a long time since I've read the books. But I am re doing a reread right now. I just got done with um, with Scarlet um, last month. So it's been a few weeks. And I want to read this, but I'm trying to not jump into fantasy right away this month. Because I read a lot of fantasy last month. So I'm trying to read some, other, some of my other favorite genres, like historical fiction, for instance. Uh, let's see, what else? And they, he also, and they're, like, they're great characters and individuals, despite the fact that Thar, Carswell Thorne is a bit sel a selfish guy, he's still such a charming character as an individual, and he really cares about, and he really starts to care about Chris, and he realizes that he's not good enough, or he doesn't, like, we meet Chris's biological father, we meet Chris's father, and he reminds Thorne that he's not good enough for her and he but the thing is I think he already knows that because you know he constantly tries to push her away and tell her I'm not a good guy for you you shouldn't have this crush on me but and of course in the climax of the book when she finally gives up he realizes he's in love with her and he almost loses he almost misses out on his chance to tell her but of course it's a YA fantasy fairy tale so it works out in the end you know it's gonna work out I don't think that's a spoiler it's just the details that are the spoiler I mean these stories as much as I love reading these books the endings are at times predictable and you know that they're gonna be happy I mean not always I mean there's some endings that aren't happy but like it's hard to recall all these details I might but these I just remember this these two are just so adorable and so sweet together and you can tell they really begin to love each other for real, not just her being infatuated by him or him, you know, being charmed by her, but they actually do genuinely love each other. And I also think it's funny how when he first meets her, he's like, whoa, that's a lot of hair when he sees all that hair. Like, because she's supposed to be Rapunzel, so she has the long hair in the beginning, the really long braid, but then she gets it cut, of course. She has to get it cut because they're in the desert, 
the African desert, and it's hard to travel in all that weight, of all the weight of her hair, and plus, it's really hot there, so, he eventually cuts it off. Let's see, what else? Like I said, this is hard for me. I also, I also, like I said, another th one thing about, I like about Chris as an individual character is, yes, she's naive, but she's very smart. She's very intelligent. She's great with computers, which I am very jealous of. I wish I was great with computers. I mean, I'm, a, I'm good enough with computers for me that I can do this kind of stuff and, you know, go on the internet and make documents and all that, but, um, you know, I'm not a computer genius. Like, I can't, I wouldn't know how to get rid of a virus or get rid of, get rid of a program that I don't want on here. And so not, and I will make mistakes and download things I shouldn't download in the first place. But she's, it's so, it's so great that she's so smart. But she's also very, she's also very different. She's not your typical YA main character. I mean, she's naive and sweet and stuff and has this crush on, on Thorne. But she's also, like I said, a computer genius. So she's a different type of heroine. Um, and I think she brings up the best in Thorne. I mean, she helps him be a better person. And he helps her become more confident of a, of a person. So, again, this is another couple that balances each other out perfectly, like Ron and Hermione do. So, um, like I said, I don't have a lot to say. I mean, I am in love. I love this couple, but I really don't have a lot to say because I don't remember a lot of the details. I just know that I really love this couple, and they're my favorite one in, that, um, in the series. And then after would be um, Wolf and Scarlet. It would be my second. They're, usually, they're actually usually the type of couples that are my number one favorite, but sometimes if you have a couple like these two, they or sometimes come before the couple with the guy who's has, can be a little that's a little dangerous but has a heart of gold kind of thing. Um that's how that's the best way to describe Wolf in my opinion. Um so um I'm going to um, but I'm definitely gonna read the, read this book again soon. Like I said I'm trying to stay take a step back and read some books that aren't fantasy first. Um, so, what do you guys think? If, for those of you who have read the Lunar Chronicles, what do you guys think, um, of this couple? What is, did you like my thoughts on the couple? Is there any more, anything you can add? Um, what is, if they're not your favorite couple, who is your favorite couple in the Lunar Chronicles, if you've read the books, that is? Um, so, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would really love, um, I would really love that. Alright, thank you for listening, and bye!